keeper, yo. <laughs> Hello, close. everybody. Welcome back to another video. First, we're going to start off on a day where the water was rough. It was overcast. I fished from about 10 in the morning to like 1 or 2 p.m. And uh, yeah, I catch my biggest weak fish that I've ever caught, as you've seen in the title. So that's where we're going to start. And then we'll move on to some fluke fishing. These are called the Z-Man Door Matadors. They're scented. Got a 3 8 ounce jig head, 20 pound fluorocarbon. See if we could find a flounder. I haven't caught a nice fluke in a couple weeks. So many shorts. Let's get a 20 inch fluke. Well, these birds are working crazy over here. Let me see what's going on. Probably bluefish. I was throwing around a pink Z-Man, but there's so much bait and so much stuff going on here. This thing looks really natural. The jerk shad, the soft plastic in and of itself is a little heavier. So, you know, I could deal with the wind a little more in the rough water. I thought this was pretty interesting right here. So I'm fluking in this clip and I don't even realize it, but I'm reeling much faster than I normally would. And I'm jerking the rod a lot more than I normally would. And that is what gets this weak fish to eat. Big hit. Feels good. It's peeling drag. It's got a big mouth on it. Striper or blue? Stripe. Oh, a weaky. A weak fish. A nice weak fish. Oh my goodness. I said I wanted a weaky. Look at this weaky. Oh my goodness. Oh, nice, man. Dude. Nice. Good I told you some weakies were around. Unbelievable. Nice weaky. My first weaky. Look at those fangs. 28 is right above his lip. Comes back down. He's about 27. He's about 27 and three quarters, 27 and a half. All right, guys, this guy really wouldn't revive, so I tried for about five minutes. I just bled him out. He's coming home. You know, I feel bad. My first weaky, but it is what it is. I'm stoked. My day is made. I just came out here. And I knew these were the conditions, man. I tried for like five minutes to revive that guy. Tried for a long time. I didn't want to keep him. I, I didn't think he would die so quick, and that's on me, but I've never had weak fish. So we're going to give it a shot. See how it tastes. I mean, I I'm in awe right now. I can't believe that he just smashed this. And we're back. It's two days after I caught that weak fish. That day was very overcast and it was very uh, rough water. We've got some west winds that have moved in. So this water is much calmer now. Let's see if we could find some fluke. Here, I've been fluking all day. For about a few hours here, I had one bite. You know, I'm pretty discouraged and I'm thinking about leaving. And you're going to hear me voicing my thoughts during this clip. This is disgusting, dude water looks this good and there's no fluke in it no one's catching i saw one short fluke i got one hit man i'm gonna be leaving here really soon and then what Nice fluke. Yeah, that's a nice fluke right there. That's gotta be 19, 20 inches. Just as I was saying, choked it too. Let's get a measure on this guy. I bet you he's 19 inches. Nah, I think he's gonna go 20. Oh, 22 incher?
Yeah, he's about 21 inches. 21 and a half, 21. Nice. I'm not keeping today. Nice, 21 inch fluke. Beautiful. There we go. Finally, we connected to a nice fluke, man. I've covered a lot of water today. In two or three hours, finally. I had one hit before that. That was the second hit. They smashed this, three eighth ounce. I got the bladed blade on this jig head, three eighth ounce jig head. A four inch curly tail Z-Man. I just had another hit right after that. So let's see if we could find another one. Maybe they'll turn on. So the slow fishing continues. I'm not really getting any bites at this point. Finally, we get a nice hit and the fish feels heavy. So what is it? It's a lot of weight. Stargazer? Jesus Christ. I don't think you're supposed to touch these. I'm not really trying to touch this guy. Look at him burying into the sand. I don't know if that's what they do or what. Get out of here, you. Before calling it a day, I went and tried just one other beach. This time I brought my girlfriend with me and she hooks into her personal best flounder. So here's that. Fucking keeper, yo. <laughs> Very close. If not, he'll probably just be under, but he might be. He's got like a long tail. Look, he's spitting up a sand flea. Hardly hooked. Nice job. Nah, he's probably about 16 inches. I don't have my phone. Let me see him. Haley with her PB flounder. Good job.